Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alex Perez, uh, back here with your weekly fishing report, and let's get started. Um, a lot of things have kind of changed, but not in a big way. I mean, we still are getting and waiting for the best part of the, as I believe, the best fishing season probably, and not in a long time, but at least since last year. <laughs> But we're getting into the fall mode. Uh, everything's changing up. Everything's kind of, you know, transitioning to the fall bite. Uh, as we talked to you guys before, the top water bite for rockfish has been picking up. And that's throughout the whole area, uh, throughout the bay, pretty much from Southern Bay all the way up to the Northern Bay parts. For this general area here, uh, let's talk about the hot spots and where to go to. Uh, the Seven River, inside the Seven River, uh, like we mentioned before, that's been uh, kind of like hit or miss, but there are some areas within the mouth of the Seven River uh, between the two bridges, the Route 50 and the Route uh, 450 bridge there in the Naval Academy, has been actually pretty good fishing the rocks along the um, wall there, the rock walls along the Naval Academy. Uh, top water lures, like we mentioned last week, any kind of popper, four inch, five inch poppers, uh, walk the dog baits, like uh, any kind of spook, you know, that will work for you guys, like the Papa Dog from Mary Lure, that's gonna be a good one there. Uh, and remember, early morning, uh, it's gonna continue to stay throughout the day now for top water, but it's still kind of like early morning, evening kind of time for your top water. Another hot spot. Uh, north Patapsco River we've been getting a lot of reports from people up in the Patapsco River around the key bridge uh, just that general area remember there is a lot of shallow water close to deep water in the Patapsco all those docks where the big ships come through all the wrecks there the hot water discharges mm -hmm. up there by the power plant uh, all those creeks that come out of there by like Bear Creek and all those areas there are places that are gonna are going to produce fish there um, most of your fish are going to be in the mid 20s and a couple of fish are going to be in maybe in the low 30s but as of right now uh, that's been some of the hot wood like hot top water areas on the western side eastern short side we're talking about the Chester River you know around Luff Point just moving in shallow work in the shorelines and some of the drop-offs you'll be able to get some fish on top water uh, inside the Chester, once you get towards Kent Narrows, that's been a good area there. A lot of reports of people from the shoreline catching keeper-sized rockfish now from Kent Narrows. And if you're on a boat uh, just south of there or around the islands on uh, the, the Eastern Bay, like we talked before, like Patterson's Island, Hog Island, all those islands there, if you get a good tide, uh, high tide or outgoing tide, uh, you're going to be able to find some of those fish in there. Now, a couple of I want to show you guys. Um, just in general for not necessarily top water but it's all general around that you can use while kind of jigging or you know fishing shallow water when you're shallow water <laughs> fishing remember you're also throwing subsurface lures don't get stuck throwing top water all day long if they're not gonna hit top water once it gets a little brighter or if it's not a top water bite throw some uh, paddle tails this is brand new uh, this is a five inch diesel minnow. Uh, they are awesome baits. I love the little four incher. This is just a bigger, wider, longer profile on a five inch. Believe me, you can use this anything from rockfish, snakehead, all everything. We have this on the four, five, and even the seven inch, the big boy for like Kobe and Red Drum. Uh, we got them in the peril and I believe um, opening night. So put this on a jig head. Uh, it's gonna, you know, work really great or you can even do the weedless hooks on these guys if you're fishing around grass. Jigging, jigging has been actually picking up uh, anywhere in the area. Love Point has been okay, but most of your jigging has been actually closer towards Pedicory Point, Baltimore Lighthouse. On the eastern side, on that channel edge that runs from Love Point towards the bridge has been pretty good. Uh, bust some baits uh, or BKDs. I like to go a little bit smaller sometimes just to get some bites on this five inch profile. Uh, natural colors if we have like you know kind of like semi clear water conditions like right now uh, you can use you know any kind of scent like the procure man hating and rub it on there or even the spike it change the colors on the tails and get more bites and one thing we also got that is brand new it's a GI jigs on the 5 8s 
um, you know it's going to be not as heavy not as light just right in the middle and personally I was waiting for them it's gonna allow me to fish shallow fish a little deeper and it's just gonna be a great combination when you put this two together um, change of colors remember always take a natural color and always take like a bright color in case you do encounter some uh, really you know murky water conditions which you never know uh, now with that saying um, jigging wise uh, also, Thomas Point Lighthouse, get along the rocks there. It's going to be a good jigging bite there. The Bay Bridge pilings have been kind of hit or miss, but you're going to always be able to pull some fish jigging out of there. Just remember, move throughout the pilings. I heard some guys from the western short side of the uh, Bay Bridge pilings pulling some decent sized fish in the mid 20s. Uh, so that's going to be another good area. I uh, did see a lot of boats anchoring up and chumming and live lining and jigging up and uh, closer to the Sandy Point Lighthouse. So that's one area that you can check there. There's a drop off there. Make sure you have some like water movement and of course Bedickery Point in the mouth of the Severn and Hackett's Point there. Uh, Hackett's Point you can go in shallow top water fish and then move out to the green can there which marks the channel edge and jig there. So that's one area where you can do both of them there. So rock fishing trolling wise uh, you can kind of stay with the metal since there's still blue fish around. Spanish mackerel are still hitting everywhere from south of the bridge. Good size macro this week. Keep tagging us, guys. We see that you guys uh, tagged us on a lot of good size macro this week. Uh, anywhere from you know mid twenties to a couple thirty inches still around this area. Uh, as of always, uh, hackets and below is going to be a good way. Drone spoons are still hot, and get those planar size ones and size twos for your macro. They're going to be awesome for that. Gold spoons are still doing most of the work right now. Uh, you know, on the Clark spoons. Uh, besides that, we're looking at, you know, casting metal jigs as always on breaking fish. And some of the stories right now for reports is that a lot of guys are catching big bluefish around this area. When we say big bluefish for this area, it's about in the mid 20s, three to five pounders, which we haven't seen in a little while. So expect those to keep moving up, uh, you know, before it gets colder. Uh, you guys fishing from shoreline, you're seeing a lot of action on the eastern shore. Uh, around, uh, like I said, Kenton Arrows. Uh, remember, you can only fish until 10, 10 p.m. now. Uh, and remember, guys, Bill Burn Pier in Cambridge closes at dark now. I see a lot of you guys coming here in late in the evening, trying to go down there. Just remember that they close it at dark now. They change the rules this year, so keep that reminder uh, if you're going over there. Hooper Island, all the series. Make sure you're fishing where you're supposed to be fishing, but they're catching a lot of rockfish over there and bluefish. Uh, speckled trout bite downside is still strong, a lot of good size trout in that area and the keeper size some mid 20s and good luck to all you guys fishing the tournament this weekend out of Crisfield. Uh, I know there's a lot of speckled trout down there in those areas around the islands. There's redfish, there's all kinds of stuff going on down there right now. Uh, Point Lookout is one of the better areas to go for a mix of everything there right now. The rockfish has been picking out in that south side there. Now let's go to some snakehead. I know you guys, uh, we haven't mentioned that in a little bit uh, for snakeheads, but snakehead fishing is picking up. Uh, October is going to be one of, it's always one of the better months to fish for snakeheads in Blackwater or anywhere in the area. Patuxent River have not gotten too many reports of there, uh, anywhere from you know your Odenton area all the way down south towards Solomon's Island and some of the smaller creeks off the Patuxent, but they're there. Believe me, as soon as it starts to cool down, they're going to start biting. Uh, this is the Addiction Baits Chatterbait here. We got some more new uh, lures coming from them, which are going to be great. We'll show you guys around, but this little guy here is more of a finesse chatterbait. You can pair that up with this new uh, Berkeley The Deal, which is like a little curly tail chatterbait um you know trailer that doesn't work against the blade and gives it a crazy action and they smell great i love that power bait scent on there they, they, they taste good <laughs> uh, but snake fishing is picking up right now a lot of reports of uh you know more of like you know a few fish here and there mainly a morning bite right now out of the black water area and all the rivers around there uh, black and blue has been a hot color apparently so far this week uh, throughout you know apparently if you're fishing sunny days and you're throwing artificials black or black and blue are going to be the hot colors uh, the opposite uh, when it's kind of like a cloudy day you're going to have those you know like white my favorite color to throw out there and catch them up with those 
uh, same thing. You can live light minnows out there uh, for the, you know the snakeheads. If you're shore fishing, that's going to be your best bet. Uh, Potomac area, we've seen a lot of big snake 